Okay, here is a quick fun effect that you can perform right away. Uh, begin with a shuffle deck of cards. Okay, and we can uh, gather these up. Okay, and we can even kind of put, put different cards in the bottom and really just mix them. Okay, so no one knows where anything is. Okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, gather these the best we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, you feel like you got it? I think they're all squared up. Okay, so what I need you to do now is, with the cards sufficiently shuffled, I need you to take a look at the top card, whatever it might be, okay? So I'll turn away, you can take a look at that top card, okay? And then we'll set it back down on top. Now I'm going to Klondike shuffle pairs to the table. This is where you take the top and bottom card off as one, like that. Now we can do this um, for as many cards as you like, okay? Uh, but in some ways it's nice to not have too many, otherwise it, it just takes too long, okay? So stop there, is that okay? Okay, great. I uh, don't even know how many you chose. How many? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. 14 is great. Okay, and so why don't we um, scramble the cards here. We'll just do a left, right, a dealing of the cards, random stacking. Maybe you want right on left, that's fine. Uh, we can follow that up with a Charlier shuffle. If you like, we can even do a, a, Cl a Klondike shuffle. Kind of a useful shuffle there. Like that. And then from here, we can um, deal out into uh, two piles, if you would like with random stacking decided by you. You want left on right? Okay, that's just fine. Would you like to do <coughs> an even or odd up jog? You would, okay. So this is where maybe we'll jog forward the uh, even position cards. So the cards in positions two, four, six, eight, ten, 10, and so forth. Strip those out. How would you like these stacked? Left on right? Okay, very good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just um, Klondike pairs of cards to the table, just kind of randomly here. Okay, make kind of a, a mess here. And then uh, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the, the pairs that we've created. Of course, you can probably spot your card wherever that might be. It's going to be one of the ones in here somewhere, hopefully, right? Okay, so do you see your card? anywhere in here. You, of course you do. Okay, great. Okay, so let me uh, get a feel for where it might be. Um, let's see, I don't... Yeah, it's none of these for sure. Uh, I don't think it's a jack or a four actually. don't think it's actually black, so none of those would be very good. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think it's a face card though. So if it's not black, it's red. And if it's a face card, well, there's only one left here. Is that your card? The Queen of Hearts? And of course the spectator will say yes. And how in the world did you know that? Okay, well, let's quickly show you how I knew that. <laughs> okay, so this is just a, a very simple effect using principles on my channel. Okay. Um, in fact, I can even show you kind of where we started. And the, the cards, by the way, when I mixed them randomly, they were randomly mixed. That table wash was genuine. Uh, serendipity was such that it brought the queen of hearts to the top. That was just chance. Uh, so this card could be any card. But the only thing I needed to know as a spectator, and you can rewind the video, I kind of straightened up the packet and from there, I can spot the identity of the bottom card right there, okay? So that's the only thing I needed to remember, the ace of diamonds, okay? And then, do you, do you remember what we did from there? We did a Klondike shuffle. Do you remember? We took the top and bottom off as one. Well, look at what we've done. We've paired up my noted card, ace of diamonds, with your card that you need to remember as your special card. So just realize that they're next to each other. Same thing in that. And then we, you know, set out pairs. So we're going to end up with an even number of cards. Okay, we don't need the same number. It can really be any number. Okay, kind of hoping I got something different 
um, see, probably got the same. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay, why don't we put two more on? <laughs> Sixteen. Okay, or it could have been less. Okay, now the, the reality is uh, your card and my noted card are together at the bottom. Okay, so if we view this as what I call an AMP, and that's where cards are taken in pairs as kind of related or in some way paired together, and we're going to bring those pairs together at the end, that's all we need to know. So since this is an AMP, you can perform a left-right shuffle. It now becomes a two cycle, so it's cyclic relative to those pairings that I just showed you. Since it's cyclic, you can perform a Charlier shuffle just as I did. Uh, you could have the spectator randomly cut the cards, that would be just fine. If you perform a Klondike, it takes a two cycle, which was what we had, we just had a two cycle, to a mirrored structure, mirrored packet. Okay, and so once it's mirrored, we have the stay stack principle. So you can deal that into left and right piles as many times as you like with random stacking. You really can. Okay, and then from there, since it's mirrored, you can just Klondike pairs to the table. And the very pairs that I showed you at the beginning, including our special pair, yours was the Queen of Hearts paired with my card, Ace of Diamonds that I spotted at the bottom are guaranteed to be paired up somewhere. Okay, so there's one pair. There's another pair. Here's another one. Okay, we haven't found ours yet, but we will. Okay, there it, it isn't there. Wow, is it going to be last again? Oh, no, second to last. That's nice. Okay, and so as you reveal these, you as a performer just need to spot your key card of sorts. That was the bottom card that you spotted, and it will be paired with theirs if you perform the steps that I've just shown you. This is guaranteed to work every time, and it's based on mathematics taught on the Absolute Math Magic channel. Anyway, enjoy that and take a look at other videos on my channel. So thank you for watching.